I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. So this week, uh, entire this week, we are going to, I'm going to dedicate the conical burr grinder. Okay. Conical burr grinders here. So we're going to start with fellow opus conical burr grinder. So this is about 40, 41 millimeter conical burrs. So about pretty much the same size as the Brista Express. Okay. About the same size of the Brista Express. The reason why I chose the machine Bravo Brista Express because most likely if you are buying fellow Opus, you're not gonna buy if you have, let's say, uh, a Lilac Bianca or some kind of E61 group or some kind of other rear espresso machines. Most likely you're gonna get a little more high end than that. So comes to price wise, fellow Opus is about $199, $195, I think. You can get it from Amazon. You can get it from everywhere right now. I mean, most of you already saw the reviews on it. If you go to YouTube right now, they got tons and tons of reviews and they have tons of specs as well, but I'm not going to focus on that. Okay. I'm going to focus on the, the workflow and also how it's taste. Okay. I'm going to uh, focus on the workflow and taste. So every single day we are going to compare, uh, we are going to try new grinder. So at end of this week, we are going to compare that kind of like, uh, I'm going to have a, one of my favorite conical grinder versus, okay. So this is big one guys versus the built-in grinder. Okay. We are going to do that and blind taste. So let's say in the end, the, the last grinder standing is let's say Cafetag MC5. Okay. I'm going to brew the shot using the Brista Express. Okay. I'm going to use the Brista Express and grinder with a built-in grinder. Let's do side by side blind taste and see, can you tell the difference? Okay. Can you tell the difference between two shots? So it should be a lot of fun there. Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay. We have a Brent is on the live chat as well. Shout out to Brent. And let's see, uh, see pal. As it just uh, and also we got the refi Omar. Okay. We've got a couple of people on just make sure to join the live chat. Okay. Just chit chat and hang out with us for the next few minutes. All right. So uh, let's talk coffee. Okay. Let's talk about coffee here. Coffee from cafe Russo. Uh, this is more like medium roast. Uh, great tasting notes, guys. Uh, milk chocolate, caramel, and praline. Okay, that sounds really good. I already measured that 18 gram. Let's grind some coffee. Yeah. Let's see if I say, when it's not fair, you choose a cafe. See if I, we don't know yet, okay? I'm just making a Example. All right. Okay. John say if express wins, you give away all your grinders. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe we're going to do a big garage sale perhaps. Okay. But I mean, I'm going to have some twist because uh, I need to, I need to set something up. So give a built-in grinder a fighting chance. Okay. So we're going to do, uh, instead of doing espresso, maybe we could, we're going to do long black for sure. Okay. Maybe some latte. Okay. Maybe some cappuccino with it. Yeah. So let's find out because most of you, if you are using Brista Express, most likely you guys are using black coffee in the morning, some kind of milk based drink. Okay. Not always espresso. So we got, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. So I'm going to show you the workflow on fellow opus. The workflow is, I mean, pretty interesting though. Okay. I have to say it's pretty nice. Okay. Here we go. Uh, comes to grind settings. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay. I set at, okay. Uh, let's set at two. All right. Let's set the grind set at two for now. So you can just simply use the clicker. Yeah. Okay, just, just use the clicker. Could be, might be too fine. Uh, let's set it to, okay. yeah, let's set it to there. All right. 
the inside has a cup, has a regular cup for the ultra filter coffee. And then we have an inner ring and outer ring. I'm going to explain to you what that's going to do. Okay, I'm just going to start my Pretty quiet though. Pretty quiet. I'm just going to tap it. That's it. Uh, so with Fellow Opus has a kind of like dry hair technology. There has an anti-static built in. Okay. You see that? There's no static whatsoever. So this is, I mean, I love that about this grinder. It comes to workflow wise. No more RDT with Fellow Opus. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to Hit up my port filter there. Let's hit it up. Okay, here we go. At this point, I'm just going to go. So this is a 54 millimeter. So this is a perfectly fit inside the first ring right there. Okay, just simply pop that thing in, flip it over, couple tap. That's it. How cool is this? All right. And if you want to do some little bit of WDT, if you wanted to, let's do it anyway. Let's do some quick WDT here. Okay, I'm just gonna go do quick WDT. Uh, it comes to grind quality, I have to say it's pretty uniform too. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit. Hold on. I'm just gonna tap it here. It looks pretty good. Do a quick distribution. So this is the, the Norm Core spring loader temper I'm using right now. Man, I'm, I have to say this looks pretty good there. I think it's, it might be too fine. Okay. Let's find out. It might be too fine. So let's lock it in. Okay, hopefully, let's do some. I think you uh, get you got the shot from the bottom there. Hold on. There we go. Okay, folks, again, if you're just joining us, we're gonna make it work here, guys. We're gonna make it work. Here we go. Let's take a look. What kind of shot we're gonna get out of it? Uh, let's go for like one to two ratio. Oh man, okay, as you can see, the grind size there, I'm choking it, okay? I'm choking the grind size.
So if you guys are worried about you cannot get fine enough on fellow opus, uh, you see the answers. Okay. All right, I mean, that's way too fine. You see that, that's all I got. So let's go look, take a look at the grind size one more time. So right, I'm in number two. With this coffee, I need to go maybe like, goodness, maybe like two and maybe three, maybe like two and a half, okay. Let's try that, okay, it's about three clicks. So each, each number has a four clicks. So now we are at, at three clicks high, okay, so. As you can see there, man. We're gonna try one more time here. I'm just gonna heat it up, clean my cup. Okay. It does have some retention as well, a little bit, not too bad. Maybe like a couple of gram. Let's give it one more time. Again, there's no static whatsoever. Shot number two. Just go from here. Just flip it over. Give a gentle tap. As you can see, the grind size is much coarser. You're going to have more volume. Okay, volume of coffee. Just going to do a quick WDT. All right. Just make sure flush, just tamp it, that's it. Get my puck screw on the top. Let's lock it in. All right, shot number two. And then we adjust the grind size there. Hopefully we're gonna have some proper shot this time. Okay. Last shot number two. Uh, we got some channeling. Shot is a little bit fast, okay? We got some channeling. So right now, we are around maybe like, I think we have to go maybe one click, okay? There we go. I, I think that's the right number right there. But meantime, let's try this coffee. Okay, I think the shot was a little fast, but let's try it out first. Okay. If a coffee tastes good. Thing is, I mean, in the end, it's all about the taste of coffee. Okay, as you can see, yes. Uh, you got some channeling there as well. 
maybe I need to do maybe spend some more, spend a little time on puck prep too. So yeah, here we go. Smells pretty good. Again, tasting note is a milk chocolate, plainly, and caramel. Hold on. Yeah, caramel and plenty. I mean, this sounds great. Here we go. Cheers. I'm going to shout out to my friends from Korea. Man, it's morning right now, so it's the evening here in Arizona. Yeah, a little bit sour side. So let's try one more time, okay? But it comes to workflow, I mean, I mean, I like the workflow. It's very uh, pretty smooth there. Yeah, I like the workflow. So let's give it a one more time. Again, this comes out very nicely here. Make sure we got all the coffee grinds out. Again, if you're just joining us, we are kind of like play with fellow opus right now. Okay. We are playing the fellow opus. Just simply flip it over. So just give it a quick tap, okay. And then my dosing funnel. I'm just going to do it. This time I'm going to spend some time to do some proper puck prep. I'm just going to declump everything inside just like so. Okay. Just gentle tap there. Just do quick distribution. Give it a good temp here. But just make sure everything is nice and leveled out, okay? I'm, I like to use a puck screen. So just put it right on the top. That's it. All right. Hopefully we're going to get the decent shot. Okay, let me show you guys. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to do manual mode. Okay, if you don't know what manual mode is, just hold down one of the buttons. Okay, it doesn't matter single or double. Just hold it down for like a couple seconds and let go. The shot. Much better, the guys. Much, much better. Look at that. Shot looks much better there. We're gonna go about one to two ratio. Let's go to like 40. Yeah, uh, now you got some, you guys see some channeling there as well. About 28 seconds and 35 gram. In the beginning, it was great. But in the end, uh, you guys see some channeling. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. All right. Not bad at all because it's going to be a much, much better shot than the last two. It's about 35 gram, 36 gram, one to two ratio. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that crema. Goodness. Fantastic. I'm just going to stir it. I know people are talking about uh, uh, a lot of plastic on the Opus. I mean, you are right. It does have a lot of plastic, but I mean, that, um, that's why, that's another reason 
the fellow can cut the cost by sub $200. And think about it. If you're same build quality as let's say fellow out, you are looking over 350. Okay, close to 400. So here we go, cheers. Oh yeah, this is it. It's great, fantastic. Mm-hmm. So that is our right shot. Okay. That is the right shot. So again, so it comes to over uh comes to workflow. Uh fellow opus uh, two hundred dollars. Can't beat it. So we got uh comes to two hundred dollar range. Uh I basically quite a few. So tomorrow uh, let's play with uh barrier. Okay. Let's play with the barrier tomorrow. No, hold on. I think barrier, maybe SD40 or barrier tomorrow morning. Okay, let's decide that. And then after that, uh, we're going to play with the FEMO book. The FEMO book have 68 millimeter conical. Okay, 68 millimeter conical birds there. So let's play with that one. And after that, let's go with the niche grinder. And then let's pick out the best one. And then let's go against with the Cap Attack MC5. Right there. And then whoever wins, I'm gonna uh, put that grinder against with my built-in grinder. My brother built-in grinder. So you should be a lot of fun. Okay, you should be a lot of fun. And then we're gonna do that with a blind taste. So uh, so because I wanna give uh, brother a fighting chance there. All right. So again, so this coffee is a lot better than this one, but here's the thing. If I'm gonna put the milk and some little bit of sugar in it, can you tell the difference? I don't know, I can't. Yeah, I mean, so that is the bigger question. All right, can you tell the difference? I don't know. Right, let's take a look at the puck quality. Okay. Uh, look like evenly extraction as well. It's pretty hot though. Okay, they're pretty hot. Uh, big, uh, big Papa say you are right. Uh, you are right. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a milk base guy. Yes. Again, if you are into milk base, anything with a little bit of milk doesn't matter. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to tell. If you are using, let's say, you know, hundred dollar grinder versus. $10,000 grinder. Once you put some little bit of milk in it, it's going to change all the dynamics. So, I mean, if you are buying Fellow Opus, you are like getting into coffee. Okay. You're not coffee hobbyist yet. Okay. And then, so after that, you become coffee hobbyist, you're going to start thinking about, you know, different grinders. But if you are using Brista Express or getting into coffee, you want something easy to use. You don't have to think much. I mean, you know, let's face it. All right, let's face it. Watch papers, what you get. But 200 bucks, hard to beat. So in the $200 price range, we have a Bravo Smart Grinder, around $200 range there. Obviously, we got Opus and also Bratza. Uh, wait, Bratza Encore? Is that Bratza Encore? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The Encore come up with the ESP. So that, uh, that's the espresso friendly as well. But with the uh, Opus right now, goodness. I mean like three, what, just under three clicks. I got plenty of room to go down. So if you're concerned about it, you're not going to get fine enough grinder. You don't have to worry about it. The C power say Brabber Smart Grinder versus Opus. Uh, they're the same as built-in grinder. Okay. Built-in grinder and smart grinders are identical, the internally. So, so we don't have to worry about. Okay, Big Papa say Bratza have money on that. Uh, I mean Bratza is pretty well known. All right. It's been uh, has a good history behind it. Yeah, the Bratzas are fantastic. But comes to coffee wise. Very capable, okay. Uh, workflow is great. I mean, so this is grinder that if you have a, a Brista Express, you want something different, 
let's say filter coffee, man. So that's not a bad option either. So you can do filter, go up to uh, French press or cold brew. So let's see here. We have a key, key newness. To be honest, I would rather save up for more solid build, uh, built grinder that I could without yeah worrying about plastic and and build. Sure, yes, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna show you this wig. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you that what kind of option you have for grinder options. As you can see, I have a you know, pretty good collection of grinders here, so I think I can give you some tips on it. Which grinder for what? So this, again, this wig is all conical this wig. Maybe next week, maybe all flat next week perhaps? Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see how it goes with this wig format there. Uh, I think we are pretty good. I'm looking at your live chat question right now. You got 41 people watching. All right. And make sure a thumbs up, well, folks. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Big Papa said, I give credit to O2 doing this. O2 doing this. The fella O, yeah. Hold on. The C Pop say, I have a niche, but I want to buy Flatbird. The flapper, Jesse asked me, what is your favorite conical bird so far? So besides, uh, comes to besides my calf attack, my favorite conical, I guess my favorite conical is the niche, okay? The niche is pretty solid overall, good, bit of quality, around for a while, yeah. That is my uh, next to my Cafetec MC5, okay. I mean, think about it as a Cafetec as a like fancy sports car, all right? The niche has, you know, some, you know, reliable car you can drive around. You don't have to worry about, you know, ding it or, yeah, I mean, that's, let's see, JD say, when, when, uh, when are you uh, demoing the x -Plum? I saw your shirts. Oh, uh, so that, the shirts, the initial, the footage, I, uh, I did that a couple months ago. Okay, so I use that for the intro, but yeah. Uh, I don't have it yet. Okay, I don't have the X-Bloom yet, but it'd be nice to have one, okay, to play around, but yeah. Let's see if I'll say, maybe I will buy Timer Sculptor. Yeah, Sculptor is, that's another buzzing grinder right now. Pretty good, pretty hype there. Make sure to check out the Zono as well, Zono, okay? So there are a couple of grinders you need to look at if you're into flatbird grinder. We got the Timer Sculptor coming out and Zono is also very interesting, all right? Okay. Okay, hold on, so we had the P, PFE, Emily, yeah, uh, Emily did video on it. Hold on, maybe I can pull it up here. I wonder if I can put up the video Emily did. So she's another YouTuber. She uh, modified Opus Stepless, okay? She changed, uh, she modified to Stepless. Hold on a second here. If you're just joining us, we are making, uh, we are playing with fellow Opus at the moment. Hold on, what is the, Video from Emily. Uh, so I'm going through the videos right now. Hold on. Let's see here. I know she did a couple of couple days ago. Here we go. Internally, here we go. And to show you how to make it stepless, it's gonna be really exciting. I'm taking apart and voiding my warranty for you guys, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and then go over to some other YouTuber and, and unsubscribe from them. So I drop any scripts, yeah. So, again, so she show you here. guys how to got the outer ring, and we're also gonna stepless. The outer ring is pretty challenging to get off, okay. Uh, fact is, I'm a big fan of modifying my gears. But do I recommend to you guys? 
I, uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. Just at least enjoy for at least like six months or so. Six months a year. Just enjoy the warranty period. And then after that, you think you need more clicks and then modify. Okay. And then modify. That video is not going to go anywhere. So yeah. So you can always modify later. So let's say Big Papa has uh, SD40 and DF64. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Big Papa is all covered. You got a nice conical. You got the, uh, you have special leader. That's great for espresso as well. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Huang say, just a little info. We'd love to visit Korea. Pub yeah, copying every Tuesday. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if you are in, I'm planning on going, hopefully this summer. Okay. I have all my families there, so I need to go visit them. Yeah, and I'm telling you, they got some amazing coffee shop in Seoul. Actually, Korea, period. So, Okay, so we have a Nunes going to Taiwan next week. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll get that Wapo baskets. I heard great things about it. Jesse say, just got the Wapo baskets like four minutes ago. Yeah, Jesse, let me know tomorrow, okay? Let me know tomorrow about the Wapo baskets. All right, uh, comes to extraction, it's gonna be, you're gonna get some really good extraction using Wapo basket. If you, uh, by the way, if you're, if you're watching right now, if you don't know what Wapo basket is, this company in Taiwan, come up with the basket has like 3,000 holes, okay? 3,000 of them, so give you a great extraction. So you can go fine, you can uh, grind size, you can go really fine, you can push the limit. So maybe someday I get one, okay? Someday I get one. Let's see what else. So I think we are pretty good. So tomorrow morning, uh, let's pick, okay? I'm gonna let you guys pick tomorrow morning. SD40 or a V, VS3 from Bardia, okay? Let's pick one. And then let's uh, brew coffee with that and then let's see what happens. So again, uh, uh, this way we are going to play with every single conical grinder I have here. And uh, in the end, I'm gonna be compared that with my calf attack. Whoever wins, go against my uh, Robert Brewster Express, the built-in grinder, okay? Built-in grinder. We're gonna do blind taste, hopefully. I gotta find somebody to come here and, yeah. I'm gonna say $200 for baskets. Correct, buddy. Wapo baskets, about 200 bucks. No joke. But their explanation is, if you buy one basket, you're gonna have for a lifetime. For a lifetime, guess what? I got this Amazon baskets about three years ago. It's not going anywhere. So, you know, I mean, I don't buy it, okay? Because all the baskets should last lifetime, all right? But I'm more interested in the quality of the shots, okay? I'm more interested in quality of the shot there. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I wonder, I wonder if you buy from Taiwan, I wonder if it's gonna be a lot cheaper than 200. Yeah, let me know, okay? And when you get there, let me know, all right? I mean, love, I mean love, I'd love to find out. I don't know how much cheaper, but uh, he, uh, he said not much cheaper. All right, that's too bad. It's like 50% cheaper, definitely worth it. But it's, if uh, we are talking about $10 cheaper, I don't know. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Also, I'm gonna shout out to Bruce Papas there today. We got Kenny's on live chat. Who else is on? I don't wanna miss anyone. Okay, we are good here. We are good. Anyway, I hope you, you know what, I wonder, you know, I, I don't want to play with, you know what, we, gotta, uh, we are going to play with the more MC5 coming weeks, okay? So yeah, because I'm very curious, okay? Because I've, I've been seasoning right now the MC5 every day you know, maybe like, you know, pound at a time. So hopefully 
end of this way, it's going to be seasoned it properly. So we, yeah, we are going to have some really good match up there. Jesse said they are taking advantage. They are taking advantage of us crazy people. Yeah, the latest gadgets. Like I say, folks, do not fall into that rabbit hole. Okay, do not fall into the rabbit. That's dangerous place. Okay, because there's no end. All right. Okay, JD say, uh, let's get, uh, uh, JD is talking about the James Hoffman, surprise guest. You know what? Uh, trust me, I've been, uh, I've been reaching out to a lot of coffee people, okay? Oh, I've been talking to a lot of coffee people, but, but some reason they're afraid to come on or, you know, they're shy to come on. I'm not quite sure, okay? I'm not quite sure, so... I'm working on a lot of guests right now, but who knows, okay? Who knows? But, but it'd be a lot, a lot of fun though, okay? Be, if I have a surprise guest, James Hoffman pops in, yeah. It's gonna be truly a surprise, okay? JD say, I will speak with him, sure. It'd be great. Hold on a second here. We have uh, Orko. So Orko got uh, the coffee from, no. Hydrangea. I think I, I, I hope I'm saying it right. That is a hard, hard word to say. Hydrangea. Yeah, hydrangea. Yeah, yeah, that's the flower. Okay. Uh, although the Air Priestor Lightsey. The Lightsey is one of my favorite coffee of all time. Uh, it's coming as well. I cannot wait to try that. Okay. okay I cannot wait to try that Lightsey because if the Lights is as good as uh, Hatch Coffee, man. It's going to be awesome. Okay, it's going to be great. Let's see here. What else? Uh, new, new needs to say coffee and camera. Yep. Uh, did, did you guys notice there are a lot of photographers getting into coffee? They're already in coffee. I mean, if you see like beautiful photos of uh, coffee uh, gears or coffee grinder from Instagram, most guys are, you know, photographers. Okay. Hold on a second. Here we have James Hoffman talking. Jesse Orson mentioned. Okay, Joe say Joe dropped the DF64V. Okay. DF64V. Variable speed for 600. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's, let's check it out for a second here. Hold on. Hold on here. I'm going to take a look at the grinders right now. I'm going to Joe's website. Joe from Espresso Outlet. Uh, Joe usually uh, join us on our live chat, but I don't see him today, but yeah. Hold on. Here we go, DF64V. He doesn't have yet. Jesse, where did you see that? Okay, did, did you see on the main page? Hold on a second here. DF64. Uh, here we go. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the Joe's website, but I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Brian says he's on Facebook. Yeah, okay, so, so DF64 V is variable space, so you can change the RPM. But I'm very curious about the, what's the lowest RPM. You know what I mean? I wonder what's the lowest RPM they're gonna go because CAF attack, MC5 go down to, uh, let's see here, go down to uh, 120, okay? Option O, uh, P64 go down to, the lowest is 200 RPM. If DF can go down to like below 200, could be amazing, but, DF64 V grinder. Let's see here. I'm looking at the. I'm Googling right now. Facebook. Let's see here. I'm, I'm going to check out the. 
I'm gonna find it. Okay, I'm gonna find this. Yeah. I don't wanna wa waste your time here. Anyway, I think I think we are we are pretty good for this evening. Man, it's almost six o'clock, folks. Goodness, it's already six o'clock, six p.m. in Arizona. It's getting late. I bet you. I bet you my wife is wonder where I uh, I am, but. Use my link in chat. I, I don't think you can uh, put the link in there, JD. I don't think you can put the link on the chat. Hold on. I'm going to try one last time here. On the, I'm at the... Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I don't think you can put... Yeah, I don't see the link. Hold on. I'm going to look at the DF64 V I think I'm seeing it uh, hold on a second you know I'm, I'm looking at the Espresso Alley website single dose yeah I don't see it that doesn't mean it's not here I see the tab yeah, I, I don't, see, yeah, hold on a second. I, there's no pictures though. There's no picture. Adjustable. Yeah, the range is, man. Hold on a second. The 600 to 1200 RPM. 600 to 1200 RPM. The 600 are low and too fast. Okay. Too fast there. Which means, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's too fast. I mean, I, I wish they can go down to maybe like 200. Yeah. Because you, you want to have that range. You want to have that range there. I mean, 6 is, yeah, 6 is pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, I, obviously, you know, the 1400 is fast. The 14 is like the top end of uh, my P64 as well, but yeah, because you, you you want to be having a low end too, so. And there's uh, Nunez say, what is the low end of RPM on uh, P64? P64 is, I believe, is a 200. Okay, let let me double check that. Okay, hold on. P. I'm at the optional website right now because hold on a second here folks easy to use I'm looking at your I'm looking at the their page here I go 300 okay I guess uh, depending on the model, I think it's some uh, older model, P64 is go down to uh, 200. So between two and 300 RPM, okay, go out to 1400. So, so with the P64V is you're looking at 600. Yeah, and then my, uh, uh, my MC5 is 12, uh, 12, uh, 120, okay. 120 RPM, so really slow. That's why it doesn't heat up the coffee beans. So, and also is very, uh, the, uh, the, what I'm trying to say is the grinds are very uniform. Okay, so very uniform there. So yeah, uh, see how the timer is 800 to 1400 RPM. Again, the 8 to 1400, it's not worth getting. I mean, Spectre is a pretty good grinder, but I mean, if you want to do variable, make it a variable. All right, just give us the low end, you know, not mid to high. So, so 800 RPM there, is that worth getting it? Ah. Okay, I mean, just a gimmick. I mean, 8 to 14, my personal opinion is not that, you know, it's not special. Okay, let's put it that way. If you, if you are talking about, let's say, 300 to 1400, so we have two extreme. 
Okay, and they're like cafe tag is just a 12, uh, 120, that's it. So really slow. It does not give you that option. So, so Varia is 160, that's good. Okay, Varia is pretty slow as well. So yeah, and I think SD40, let's find out what the SD40 RPM is. Hold on a second here. SD40 is about $250, that's it. Uh, Joe setting for $250 there. Comes to RPM. Hold on. If you are just joining us right now, we are checking out the uh, 64, uh, actually, SD40. Okay. RPM here. It doesn't say, okay, it does not say on the website there. But uh, by tomorrow, I'm going to find out for you guys, okay? Uh, let's, let's find out by tomorrow. Zoro is six to 800 RPM. Yep. So, I mean, that's kind of like the mid-range. Six to eight. It's going to make a big difference if you have, you know, 800, you know, 800 to 1400 RPM. I don't know, okay. I like to think so, but who knows. But it's definitely, you, you are going to tell the difference between really low RPM versus, you know, high RPM, comes to cup quality. And then Jesse thinks that is about 700 RPM. Okay, it's kind of like middle of the road. That's fine. And the SD40 is 400 with the beans. Way too fast. I mean, you know, I mean, that, again, I mean, that's average. Okay. The Varia is slow. Varia is not a fast grinder. So, so we're going to have some fun. So we're going to have some fun there. All right. I think we are, man, it's been going on for 50 minutes now. And then we're going to have some, uh, again, tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to pick between SD40 or Varia V3 tomorrow morning. Uh, let's go through some workflow. And then tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah, we got... We got a few more grinders we can play with, and again, end of this week we're gonna do. This, uh, we are going to go against best grinder for the week. Go against my built-in grinder. Okay, I know it's not a fair fight, but you know what? I'm gonna make it interesting. Okay, I'm gonna make it interesting there. Okay, all right, guys. I'm gonna see you guys next time. See you guys tomorrow.